Today I've got a mystery box from the company Boom Loot. So what is in this are four $25 mystery boxes. I think each mystery box had one pop, I think, in every box, if I remember correctly. Yeah, $24.99 a box, one pop, guaranteed value of at least $20 on the Funko app as of $9.29. So they only had 60 boxes available, no limit. You can order. I ordered four as hundred bucks, and I also ordered a Pop Pez cardboard display because I have probably 50 Pop Pez that I need to sell. So in a, I'm actually going to put on top of one of my glass cases the Pop Pez dis cardboard display with you know Pez's in. I think it holds 12. And then once I sell one or two, I'll just replenish the holes with new ones and keep selling them that way. Because I haven't sold any of those Pop Pez yet um, that I did from like a mass purchase from Hot Topic a couple months ago. I still have them all. So I, I'm going to try to get rid of all those. And I saw that they had a Pop Pez cardboard display for only like $12. And I said, awesome, you know, that's pretty cheap. And with the cardboard display now for the Pop Pez... I actually probably end up buying more Pop Pez now just because I have a way to display them and then sell them. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So here we got this. One pop per box. One. Ooh, that one's really light. There's a pop in there. It's extremely light. So three, four of the boom loots, and then two. Here is the uh, the Pop Pez display box. Oh yeah, cool. So only twelve bucks. Um, that's awesome. Hold. Actually, it might hold more than that. One, two, three, four. Well, probably six, maybe seven across. So I can now put these on top of one of my glass cases where I have all my pops for sale locally, and then put Pop Pez in here, sell them that way. That's awesome. This will be a good way to sell my Pezzes now. And if they do well, I'll get like a second one of these from them and keep buying Pop Pez so I can keep selling them. So here we go. We got four boxes, pretty much 25 bucks a piece, guaranteed value of $20. There were some semi grails, nothing like big grails. Like some of the bigger grails they got is a, looks like Freddy Funko as Ant-Man, 350 piece exclusive. The bullseye flocked, uh, like the preview, whatever from SDCC. Some, you know, chrome Vegetas, because, you know, we need more of those. Gray Wind, the original Iron Man SDC exclusive. Oswald Cobblepot, a Scrappy Doo. You know, there's nothing huge, huge, but uh, really, there's really, there's really nothing huge, huge in this box. I usually buy Boom Loot when there's like a decent hit of like $100 and up. I don't see a $100 hit. Probably the Ant-Man. The Ant-Man is probably the Freddy Funko's Ant-Man. That's probably a $100 plus hit. So that's that's the big hit. So, okay. So, fingers crossed I get the Freddy Funko as, as Ant-Man to resell that bad boy. So, first one, $25. Once we're done, we'll go back through, look up all four of these pops and see value. See how much money I probably lost. First one. I'll show you first. What did I get? Oh, another one of these. Are you serious? I have got, this is I think my sixth one. I think it's the sixth one. The Blue Chrome Vegeta, the Toy Tokyo, New York Comic Con last year exclusive. They made so many of this pop. I think they're still making them. Yeah, I've gotten this, I think this is the sixth time out of a mystery box. And the last time I got one, which is this a couple weeks ago, it was worth 30 bucks. So it's probably still around that range. Condition on this one has a small little blemish right here on the bottom. Won't really hurt value that much, maybe like a buck or two. But I mean, box overall is in good con condition, but I don't want to get any more Chrome Vegetas out of anything because it just, it is like the most mass-produced kind of hyped pop of all time you know yeah so anyway number two oh, 
What do we get? Oh, cool! The sheer con. That's that was actually a page one. That was actually one of the best hits to get out. I think. I think it was actually. I think that was this actually from the Jungle Book. This is actually, I think, one of the best hits to get out. So I think I might have gotten like a semi grail. I think. I think. I've never received this one before in a mystery box. It came out way back in 2014, so it's obviously long vaulted. And looking at the picture, going to revert back, it was actually two spots away from the Freddy Funko. So yeah, this should have been one of the main hits to get out actually, and I got it. So I'm happy with that. Okay. So I think the first two I got back, I think more than what I paid for each of them in terms of value. So far, this has not been that bad of a mystery box. Boxes, plural. Next one. What do we get? Okay. We got Ringo, the most recent SDCC exclusive. It is, it is a 1600 piece exclusive, so it's pretty limited. I don't think value-wise it's really worth a crazy amount. I'm sure it's probably worth more than what I paid, honestly. This is probably worth more than 30, more than 25, I paid 25. And it had free shipping. If you spend over 100 bucks, this is actually free shipping. So these were like 25 bucks a piece. I think this is probably worth more than 25, it has to be. It's probably like, what, 30, 40 bucks, I bet. So I think the first three, I got back more than I paid on every single one. Okay, I'm, I'm pleased so far, so yeah. Ringo SDCC, this is the Funko Fun Days exclusive. It came out of that Fun Days tube, you know, from this last SDCC a few months ago. So we have one box left. I got one more chance at the Freddy Funko as Ant-Man. Will I get it this time? Or will, it, will this be the first box that I get under my $25? Because I think all these are over 25 bucks. Last one. Fingers crossed. Freddy Funko as Ant-Man. What'd I get? Eh. Super Cyan to Gohan. I think this is actually a pretty new one. I've, I've actually got this out of a mystery box a couple times now. I don't think this is worth that much, but I could be wrong on that. So that's all four pops. So now let's go back through, let's look at some values. Let's see how well I did or how much money I lost on these. I got a bad feeling that, uh, actually I got a good feeling. I think three out of four I did well on. Gohan is worth, according to Funko App, which is what Boom Loot used, $21. Shere Khan, according to Funko App, it's vaulted 2014. It's only 30 bucks. It was like two away from like the main hit too in terms of value, so, huh, okay, 30 bucks, that's not bad, so that's uh, five more dollars what I paid though, so I'm actually, right now, I'm at 51 dollars, I'm only down nine, or I, I paid 25 bucks, I'm actually, I'm up a dollar right now, can't even, can't do math anymore, blue chrome Vegeta is now down to 28 bucks, this thing fluctuates between like 28 and like 34 dollars all the time, like a few weeks ago, it was 30 bucks, now it's 28 bucks, but at 28 bucks is actually worth more than what I pay for the box by $3. So that is nice. And then the last one, a Ringo. This has a Funko App value of a whopping $31. So adding up all four of those, I got back a total of $110. I spent 25 bucks a box. I got back 110 bucks. So I made 10 more dollars back in value than what I paid. So buying four mystery boxes and pretty much breaking even with just a few more dollars over, that's not bad. You know, at least I didn't lose money because all four of these, I actually could have lost as much as $5 per box. So actually making $10 in the long run, that 10 bucks actually paid for almost the entire Pop Pez. This cost me 12 bucks. So with the value I made back from these, pretty much it's only cost me two bucks then. So look, look at it that way. It's even better than kind of in a roundabout way. So it wasn't bad. Not It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. I'll see you guys next time. Funko Bad Guy out.